Yo, what's going on YouTube, man? Quick disclosure on this video that you're about to watch. If you don't know about Korn or this song before, um, it's got some vulgarity in it that just a quick caution to the fan base uh, and my audience that if you don't want to hear anything uh, too crazy, man, this might be a good time to d dip out of this video. But if you're open-minded to hearing any of that and watching the video, please go ahead and press forward, man. Just a quick caution on that. All right. Thank you guys, man. Enjoy the video. Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing out there today, man? Today we're checking out Corn, Children of the Corn featuring Ice Cube. Okay, so let's go ahead and read off the donation request that this one's coming in from. It says, features rapper Ice Cube on vocals. Ice, Ice Cube also did a track featuring Corn called F Dying. Um, Davis explained his lyrical content. In one of my verses, I'm talking about being a kid that's always known, known as the F in town F word, all right? It, it's a, it's a cuss word i guess towards like uh gay people okay it's funny how things change how some of the people picked on me all of a sudden look who's laughing now because i'm a big rock star now and in another verse i talk about all these parents effing hating me for what i do saying i'm corrupting their children but in turn these parents need to step outside of themselves and really listen to what i'm talking about then i think they can understand that they were kids before they're just really quick to judge me all right so a full disclaimer for this one for me with corn i've heard a little bit of corn growing up i wasn't ever a fan really of corn's music all right so i don't know how i'm gonna take this one okay i haven't heard this one but we'll go ahead and take a listen today I understand why people like corn. I guess it just wasn't in the type of box of music that I wanted to listen to daily. Uh, the stuff that I heard on the radio from them. OK, uh, but I could I understand that they were, you know, how they were groundbreaking with the new metal movement and, and you know, their contributions to the shift in music. Um, so we're going to go ahead and dive into this one. Um, I ended up pulling up the lyrics a little bit. So I I put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. This one is going to be it seems pretty vulgar. OK, so I normally don't cover music like this on the channel, but we're going to do it today and check it out and see what's happening right here. All right. So appreciate you guys rocking with me. Let's see what we're getting into, man. Don't know uh, what we're going to sound like and how he's going to deliver some of these things. So let's go ahead and see what's up. Don't forget to like subscribe. Check out the description. Consider becoming a member, man. Here we go. Attention all parents, report to your local therapist, report to your local church, report to your local police department, it's going down. Glaring into my son's eyes, reveal some burn, I felt her in the day. Insanity, it was all about the pussy, if you can get it, a little girl like me, never fucking lie. I 
interesting collab. So let's strip it down to the music first, okay? The music, I actually was messing with it a little bit, man. I thought I liked the intensity, some of the riffs that were happening. The bass, I think their bassist is very unique in Korn. Uh, he does like this really deep tone type of bass with heavy distortion. I like that too. So I, I would say musically, maybe uh, Korn is something that I could rock with, right? But there's going to be certain things that pull us to groups and certain things that kind of take us away from groups. Um, and I know anyone that's watching this that's a big uh, Korn fan might hate what I say, but I, I think when it comes to Jonathan Davis, he has a great um, style for a lot of people, right? He, he's got a following, um, but there's something about it kind of delivered right here to where I just don't connect with it, man. It's not something that I'm going to spend and, and t listen to on my own time with Jonathan Davis, man. Um, is there something out there from him that I probably really like? I would say maybe, right? I don't know. I haven't heard corn like that. I don't listen to corn. Um, but with this one, I don't think this is it for me either. Children of the corn. It was an interesting collab, right? I love seeing rock artists collab with rap artists. It's something I love. Uh, a highlight for me is like Linkin Park with Jay Z. I thought that was dope, man. And you know, there's been times throughout history where rappers and rock stars like collab, and I think that's dope, man. So it's good for the culture of both um, genres of music, man. I think it's a wonderful thing to bring these things together. This was an interesting one I hadn't ever known happen was Corn and Ice Cube, and I think the way uh, Jonathan Davis is addressing things from his past like that, I think that's powerful stuff too, man, to address it and say, hey, listen, man, I went through a lot of trauma. A lot of people put me down. A lot of people, you know, thought nothing of me. But look where I'm at now, man. I succeeded. And even though I may personally not be like a big fan of their music, I'm going to take my hats off and give props and I hope for success on anybody that that's do, you know, has good intentions, man. I hope success on everybody, even if I'm not necessarily writing with Korn's music on the daily. I'm happy uh, for these guys to have made the success that they have. They've influenced a lot of people and they've got a lot of fans that I'm sure they've helped through hard times, man. Um, so I think that's dope stuff right there just on its own. I think it's good for him to address that and stuff. But is it something that I'd spend on my own? Man, I, I got to say, you know, to the unfortunate, I'm sure dislikes coming in. I got to say, it's it's not something I'd rock on on my own, man. But let's go ahead regardless and check out some of the background of Corn, Children of the Corn right here. All right, so we got this song coming off the Follow the Leader album, which I remember this artwork, man. Like I said, I didn't follow Korn. I've only heard their stuff that's been on the radio, uh, but I still remember this album cover, man. It, it was there. It was on TV. It was everywhere uh, because this was the time that I was growing up right here. 1998 released, man, from Immortal and Epic Records. Okay, so you've got this one. Yeah, coming out at that time. I want to scroll down and take a look at the album right here so we've got children of the corn releases the fifth track on this one featuring ice cube it looks like they had some other songs with other um people on it they got fred durst on here from limp biscuit uh tree trey hardson i'm not familiar with mr trey um so yeah they've got that one they also had a hidden track so which one's on here freak on a leash definitely have heard before on the radio got the life definitely have heard 
on the radio and those might be it i don't know if anything else from this album was on the radio but those two i remember they were huge you know what i mean uh freak on the leash man that's probably the first time i've heard that kind of improv voice beatbox that weird one that he does and i think you know that is really a big trademark a big sample even as a like somebody who doesn't mess with corn like that I thought that was a catchy bit. It's something that uh, it's dope that he did that. You know what I mean? So I can definitely give props where props are due on this and for the success that they uh, got out of this and that they made uh, with their name and their brand. So dope for them, man. Good stuff. Thank you for suggesting this one today. I'm sorry if I didn't give you the reaction uh, you were hoping for, man. But I want to be honest with you guys and not fluff up things on, you know, just for the sake of it, man. So appreciate you guys today. Thank you for tuning in, man. I'm going to see you all on the next one. All right. Peace. (laughs) 